2022 and cool, grabbed right? our attention right well, away. We're at that point now where there's a generation of major baseball players. I grew up players. watching this network. Grew up on, we're like on our 15th year. So if you're a kid <laughs> into baseball, you grew up watching MLB Network. Let's welcome in Royce. Royce, good morning to you. Is that true? You grew up watching the network? Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, you know, I still watch it every day to this point. So uh, it doesn't stop. You know, Royce, it's, it's cool because when I was a kid, we got baseball like once a week. Mm. And now you guys have it every day. And I just wonder, uh, you and your friends growing up watching baseball, like the network, like MLB Network, how that really affected your friendships and your conversations and all that. It had to have a major impact. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, you know, we were able to talk baseball 24 seven and play baseball a lot, especially being grown up in California where the weather's awesome. So uh, we just enjoyed, you know, living baseball and pretty much uh, ate, you know, and slept baseball. So. Royce, uh, you're about seven months post second ACL surgery. Tell me how you're feeling, you know, a, a month and a half, two months until uh, the season. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I feel great, uh, especially, you know, they tell me not to compare to last time, but it's so hard not to when it was so short together. So uh, it feels really good and the knee's very stable and I'm just excited going forward for the season. That's so interesting. You said the, the last time. Are you able to kind of benchmark, right? You've been through this before. This is where I was at, at, at month six. This is where I should be at, at month four. Did you kind of draw from that? Uh, a little bit, but it's a totally different surgery is this it? time. Yeah, just a little bit more complications in there with, you know, stabilization in the knee itself. So I have a kind of like an internal brace in there uh, to help protect it from happening again. And then also, uh, you know, being at second time in less than two years span, we wanted to be safe and cautious and make sure it doesn't happen ever again. Did you know immediately when you got injured what it was? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it hurt way worse than the first time. And uh, I, I just immediately I grabbed my knee and I remember everyone saying like, oh, his, if it's his shoulder, he'll be fine. And I was like, no, that's that's my knee because um, I was able to turn my back just enough. But, uh, you know, I was happy. Like I tell my friends, like I, I wouldn't have done anything different. I made the play and um, I think my boy Trevor and, and, and Garlic right there, they were both like, you should come out of this game. I'm like, no, nah, I'm finishing this inning. So um, I was able to finish the inning. Lucky enough, uh, Sonny was pitching a good game. They didn't hit the outfield. Tell you what, I, I was ready to cry, man. Mm. I, I was just, it was so devastating because I've watched you come up and be ready and Brilliant, you got right? that big hit and you're rolling and here he goes. He's going to take off. It was just so devastating. I want to tell you that. But as you've gone through the rehab now, um, what are you doing? Are you able to hit? Are you able to do a lot of walking, riding the bike? Uh, what are you, are you able to do anything baseball wise yet? Yeah, absolutely. We started doing baseball stuff about last month. So uh, at about the six month mark, a little bit before that, um, it was right before Christmas, I started hitting off the tee and then um, started doing some soft toss as of yesterday. So I really got in the flow of baseball and getting back into a normal routine for spring training and uh, ramping up for that. I love watching you get interviewed, Royce, because there is a willingness to play at every or any level that I really respect. I mean, did you gain that kind of perspective from this? Yeah, I just I gained it just from the love of the game. You know, I don't care where I play. I just want to be out there. You know, I think that's for me is the main thing is I like no matter where I start and where I finish, it's it's just as long as I'm able to play baseball a game that I love and a game that I'm able to use my, you know, skills to to show the love for God that I have as well. So. Well, you, you, you talked about willing to play anywhere, obviously, with the twins signing Correa now for another five more years. Uh, shortstop doesn't look like you're going to be that main guy anchoring that down. So have, I'm curious your mindset when they signed Correa back. Yeah, my mindset was that, you know, this team is going to be full of a bunch of athletes now, you know. So, you know, you talk about the Astros, the Dodgers, all these teams that have been winning. They have a bunch of shortstops playing everywhere. Um, and that's kind of what I look at as the Twins as we're rebuilding this team to, to a championship caliber team is it looks like there's a lot of shortstops coming in or athletes, as we like to call them. And, um, you know, that's how you can, you know, force a team to win and, and it looks like, you know, with C4, we're a lot better of a team. So I, I, I'm willing to play wherever I need to. And um, I guess we'll see when I get to have conversations with Rocco where that would be. How, how difficult was it to learn other positions? Because clearly that you, you played shortstop your whole life, get drafted in the first round as a shortstop, the first pick, by the way, matter of fact. And now you learn different positions. How, how difficult was that to do? 
Uh, you know, I don't want, I don't want to be like, I'm trying to be humble as possible, but it's it was pretty, easy for us. <laughs> that's what he's trying to yeah. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty easy for me. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be anything crazy to brag about it, but I think when you can play shortstop, you can play anywhere. Truly. I believe that, you know, maybe not pitcher and catcher. That's a little bit different, but, um, you know, as a shortstop, we, you know, the twins, like I said, we have a lot of shortstops like Jose Miranda was a shortstop coming up. Now he's playing third and first. Uh, Luis Arias, middle infielder, now playing first and second. Um, you know, Carlos Correa, shortstop. Myself, shortstop. Buxton, just a pure athlete. Play anywhere, though. Um, I mean, that's how you build a team. And, and like I said, it was just easy to move from short because that's one of the hardest positions to play on the field. And then going out to center, just, you know, making sure you get those reads and um, are able to process, you know, where the ball's going to be. And next time, stay away from the wall. Hey, one of the fun things about being in the big leagues is learning from other guys. Not necessarily the hitting coach, not necessarily the manager, but in hitting groups or talking to different players. Who's had the most impact on you as a player to player relationship? Well, I'd have to say, you know, Tory Hunter since I've been drafted, but as of late, uh, it was Carlos Correa, uh, but Byron Buxton for sure. You know, just, you know, making me feel comfortable when I got up to the big leagues, especially. And, um, you know, I'd be it'd be shameful if I didn't add all my coaching staff from every level that I've been at because they, you know, starting in high school and even before that in travel ball, um, I've had the best coaches and they've really taught me some great things that, you know, have shown in my game. Royce, I was reading through your training regimen before you could really lift legs. You were that guy. You were that guy in the gym just getting swollen, uh, not just your arms. Was that you? <laughs> You're laughing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't didn't really work that much. You know, I'm still skinny, scrawny boy, but uh, hopefully it'll it'll turn into some homers soon. All right. We're so excited to see the depths of your challenge or of your talent. And we are all rooting for you here from MLB. Well, you're one of my favorite people. You know that, Royce. And uh, like I said, I was devastated, but I'm glad to see you upright working to get back and and just take your time. You got a long career ahead of you and we're excited to see you. Absolutely. That's how I'm going to take it. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. You watched since you were uh, I, I love this guy, man. Just humble. Imagine great having kid. all the talent in the world, and then bam, it ends. And then bam, it ends again. Yeah. I was really upset career. with the Twins. I'll be honest with you. I, you know, for him to work all the way through, and then they put him back out in the outfield again, and it was just frustrating to see him hit a wall and get injured. And it just... Um, you know, clearly him saying he can play anywhere doesn't mean you play him anywhere at the time. I see and, what and, and so hopefully they've learned, he's learned how to take care of that knee and really give him a chance to anchor and take off. He's a humble kid. He's easy to root great. for, isn't he? Let's take a break. On Hot Stove coming up, we're going to my hometown. We are dating.